Hi, it's Darno with Way Lover Recipes, and today I'm going to be making up hazelnut butter and also a chocolate version of hazelnut butter. I'm going to be using the Gourmia XL French Door Air Fry Oven to do that, along with a food chopper and such. And we'll see how that all turns out. And then when you want to make some hazelnut butter or a chocolate version of hazelnut butter, you can. And so let's get cooking right now. So to make just plain hazelnut butter, using the recipe that I've got in mind to use here, I've basically got two cups of blanched hazelnuts. These are organic hazelnuts here. And I'm going to preheat the cooker to 375. I need between 10 and 15 minutes of roasting time. So I'm doing a roast at 375. Sorry for the beeps. But taking it down to 15 minutes and going to go ahead and hit start and I'll let it preheat and then we'll get the ramekin with the hazelnuts in there. I've got a rack on the middle rack which is rack level number four for this cooker. But I'll bring you back in a moment we'll get them on in. Alright, so I'm going to add things on in. There we go. And we'll go ahead and let things cook for a while and uh, maybe pull them early if it looks like they're getting too brown but I'm supposed to let them get a little brown and so I'll bring you on back in a moment alright so I'm going to pull these hazelnuts out at the 12 minute cook mark they're looking pretty good what I've got here is another ramekin with another two cups of hazelnuts I'll be roasting these while the ones that are in here are basically cooling down so that these can be used for the chocolate version later and these will be used for the uh, plain hazelnut butter version. But I want to show you how these look inside. Looks like I probably could have, should have turned the ramekin around halfway. I didn't spin it, but you see like one part's a little more cooked than the other. It's a little unevenness on the browning, but we're going to go with that as is. So, sorry about that noise. I guess I'll just pop this one right in there. Things are already fairly warm as is. I'm going to, once it, well, I have to wait for it to get to the point where it's counting down, but I'll move it up to about 12 minutes. And this one, I'll go ahead and spin this one halfway through at the six minute mark. So, I won't show you all of that, but just trust that. I'm going to do it 12 minutes. I'm going to spin it when it gets down to just basically six minutes left and we'll see how things turn out after all that's done so I'll bring you on back in a moment alright second batch is done let's stop with that beeping so I did spin it at the six minute mark so we'll see how this one looks compared to the other I think overall, you know, it did help keep any one side from getting too brown. So I'm going to set those, these aside as well. The others are still cool and they're still kind of hot. Sorry for that noise there, but once the others that I did initially cool down, I'll bring it back and we'll do the next steps for those. Okay, so for the first batch of hazelnuts, they're still a little warm, but cool enough for me to be able to handle the ramekin carefully. I'm just going to get them into this food chopper now. So, got them all in there. And with them all now in the food chopper, I'm going to basically start to chop them up a bit. So, let's uh, get this here. Get this on here. Get the top on. And uh, I'll bring you back in a moment. I'm going to chop them up for a while till things are smoothed out a bit. Alright, so I've chopped them up some, but things are sticking to the side wall a bit. So what I do is make sure you knock things down a little bit and then do some more chopping. I want to try and see if the oils in the nuts will come out a little bit to make things slightly creamy maybe and then start adding other ingredients. So I'm going to do a little more chopping here to see if I can get things to a 
slightly creamy consistency. All right, so things are getting kind of a uh, little gummy, but not, I mean, it's not, not gummy, it's just like when I'm chopping, things are immediately kind of going to the sidewall, but things aren't creamy yet. They're just uh, kind of coming together some, but not yet creamy, but they are far enough along that I can add the other ingredients and go ahead and start making this hazelnut butter. So I'm going to start adding those. First ingredient I'm going to add in are a couple tablespoons of raw honey. And so I'll get those in. Next ingredient is going to be one half teaspoon of sea salt. So just getting that, putting that in here. Next I'm adding one tablespoon of a granulated sweetener. Use the one of your choice. I'm using a urethral monk fruit blend, but as I said, use the one that you prefer. I have used plenty of other sweeteners here on the channel, so I do know the pros and cons of the one that I'm using, but I choose to use it. Next ingredient is going to be the most tricky of the ingredients to add because it's how much oil will it need, or will it need. I'm going to start out with, I'll try half a cup or eight tablespoons. This is an extra light olive oil. Please do not confuse it with regular olive oil. Do not confuse it with extra virgin olive oil. Extra light olive oil is very different and does not taint the flavor of anything. And so, pouring that on in here. And if there's another oil you prefer personally, then by all means use that. That is your choice. I'm going to go ahead and chop things up some to try and see how creamy they get. Alright, so I've basically gotten things chopped up. I think they're smooth enough for me. If you wanted things smoother, you could chop longer or you can add more oil. It's really kind of a dance at the point of oil and how long to chop for your preference, but I think things look pretty good there. Now I'm going to just basically take this hazelnut butter I've made, put it into this jar, and I'll set this one aside, and then we'll get started on the chocolate version. So I'll bring you back in a moment. So now that the regular version is complete, we'll start on chocolate, and this is the other two cups of hazelnuts that were roasted, so I'm going to go ahead and get these in, chop these up. So it's a point where I add ingredients again. The first one I'm going to add is going to be a quarter cup of cocoa powder, so I'm going to get a total of a quarter cup out and get it on in here. And for this one I'm going to use a quarter cup of raw honey instead of just two tablespoons because the two tablespoons wouldn't be enough to basically cut through the sharpness of the cocoa powder flavor. So, got to use a little more honey here. Twice as much. So, getting this on in here. Okay, now for a granulated sweetener, I'm not going to use the urethral monk fruit blend because I'm going to be using more. I use the urethral when I'm only using it in small amounts for when I need a larger amount of sweetener that's granulated, I use organic monk fruit, organic monk fruit extract powder. That's my choice for larger amounts. And so I'm using one teaspoon of or organic monk fruit extract powder. For you who are familiar with it, you know this is equivalent to about eight teaspoons of sugar. But I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't use eight teaspoons of sugar because uh, that would just, I, I'd. Uh, try something else. <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't do it. But it's up to you what you're gonna use. And you know maybe even just a tablespoon would work out just fine. But if you were using sugar or something, but I I don't use table sugar at all. So gonna get the next ingredient in. For the next ingredient I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of organic milk powder. So I'm gonna get two tablespoons of that in. And the final ingredient I'm going to put in is going to be one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Just another effort to try and tamp down how strong the cocoa powder flavor might be a little bit. 
Actually, I'm going to use a little less than a teaspoon. I'm going to use it's probably about three quarters, but I could have used a half. So you can use a half teaspoon of vanilla extract if you choose. Okay, for oil, I'm going to try, since I've got the, even though I put more honey in, I've got the milk powder, I've got the coca powder and all in, so I'm going to try another half cup, eight tablespoons of the extra light olive oil there, and try and spin that in, and we'll see what comes of this in a moment. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this all chopped up. Alright, gonna check things out. Looks like things are getting kind of chopped up. I might need even more more oil from the looks of it. It's it's uh coming together but I think it needs just a little more smoothing out. I'm gonna get some of the ingredients from off the lid here. And then I'm gonna put two more tablespoons in and start chopping things up again. Alright, so I think this is done. Looks pretty decent. So getting this off of here. Get a little of that off. Alright, so let me just show you this right quick. That's the finished product. It's a little smoother than uh, I kind of been just checking. It's It seems pretty smooth. It looks kind of choppy, but it is, it is pretty smoothed out. So, looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one into a jar. Alright, looks like I got a little more than a jar's worth. I should have used a bigger jar, but it's all good all the same. I'll just take a little off the top and maybe put that in a different container or something. Okay, so both are done. Let's go ahead and do a taste test. So thank God for some hazelnut butter. I'm going to go ahead and taste the plain and then the chocolate version. So here we go. Pretty good. Let me get get a fresh spoon. Try the chocolate one out. But that one's pretty good. That is a good standalone nut butter. So now we'll try chocolate. Here we go. Hmm. That's pretty good too. Maybe the chocolate's a little better. Maybe a little, just a little. But they're both very good. Either way, plain or chocolate. You can go either way you want. They're both very good nut butters. And turned out really nice, real easy to make. You can use them like you would any other nut butters. But, you know, you can basically use this as an alternative to others. Or just as an addition. For me, it'll be just an addition to the other nut butters I've done here. You know, peanut butter, black walnut butter, um, pecan butter. I've done all those here on the channel videos here for how to make those too. So basically whatever you want to do is up to you and so you know how to make some nut butters and so I hope that you did like that. Now nothing in this video is sponsored, nothing given to me. If you did like the video you can in the video description there are lots of ways to help channels such as my cookbook, merch, membership, donations, also a link to the Amazon shop where you pay the same price help the channel. Also you can also always check out my blog superwaveovenrecipes.com I think there's like a buy me a coffee thing there on superwaveovenrecipes.com if you choose. But uh, lots of options there. And also if you like the video you can give it a thumbs up. You can share the video with a friend, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification icon, and good eating.